ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಕಿಂಧು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗಂಗೂಲಂಘಯತ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದಿವ್ಯ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶೆ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರ ದೇಹ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚಿಂತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನುತಪಾಲ್ಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚಾರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನೀಕ್ಷಟಾ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿಗಪವಧೂಷು ಆದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಪಾಂಕರ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯಕಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾವತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀ ಸಜಸ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ಕಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಮಿತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣೆ ಕ್ರಿಮಿಕೀಟ ಸಂಕುಲೆ 
स्वभाव दुर्गंध विनितांतरे कले वरे मुत्रे पुरीश भाविते रमंती मूढ़ा विरमंती पंडिता अमेध पूर्ण कृमिकीट संकुले स्वभाव दुर्गंध विनितांतरे कले वरे मुत्रे पुरीश भाविते रमंती मूढ़ा विरमंती पंडिता गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर बहुपा परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड वाई यू आर गोइंग टू गेट कंट्रोल ओवर अदर्स वाई यू आर गोइंग टू कंट्रोल ओवर अदर्स इट इज नॉट योर ड्यूटी इट इज माई ड्यूटी आई एम एक्ट इज एक्टिंग एज गुरु वाई यू आर अननेसरी गोइंग टू टेक ट्रेवल टू गेट कंट्रोल ओवर अदर्स वाई यू वाइल योर ओन बिजनेस गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर भोपा परमंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड वेन समबॉडी ट्राई टू गेट कंट्रोल ओवर अदर्स देन इट इज वन काइंड ऑफ बिग बॉन्डेज बिग बॉन्डेज वी कैन नॉट गेट कंट्रोल ओवर एनी बॉडी इफ समबॉडी गोइंग टू ओबे माई कोड ऑफ लाफुल लैंग्वेज दैट सेवरेट If somebody going to understand my loveful code of and uh, language of code language, then it is okay. But forcefully, I cannot. I cannot compel anybody to do my anugatha. Baba speaking. Jiva is a satantra, so I cannot apply force here. I cannot. I cannot apply force on anybody. It is there. Personal desire, they can come to me, cannot come to me, can ignore me, can throw me out. It's up to you, accept me. Because jiva is a satantra. I already told yesterday. A jiva's bonded soul can reserve the right to fall down any time. Any time. So, Papa speaking. After hearing so many hari katha, countless hari katha. After doing so many kirtan from Saranagati, Kollyan Kalpataru. How they leave me? How they throw me away? Maybe I am not qualified. That's why they wanted to throw me and accept some other guru. If there is big aparad big offense sulopani samo jodi vaishnav ninda kare sulopani mane like shankar shankar one can never make aparad anyway but it is written if bhagwan shankar going to make aparad but still cannot get excuse sulopani samo jodi vaishnav ninda kare सो आब्रह्म भुवना लोका पुनरावर्तिन अर्जुन बिग प्रॉब्लम ओनली बाय द हेल्प ऑफ आवर मेटेरियल इंटेलेक्ट मेटेरियल माइंड बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सेंस ऑर्गन ऑल हैंड लेग एवरीथिंग वी आर ट्राइंग टू सर्च दैट एब्सुलट ट्रूथ व्हिच इज नेक्स्ट इन पॉसिबल by the application of our intellect material intellect by the application of our material mind by the application of our material sense organ eyes ear we are trying to search bhagwan supreme lord which is next to impossible people cannot pass away maya people can never pass away maya. भगवान श्री कृष्ण ऑलरेडी टोल्ड मामे वजे प्रपदंते माया मे तम तरंती दे मम माया दुरत्तया दुरत्तया माने नो बॉडी कैन क्रॉस ओवर द ओशन ऑफ माया नो बॉडी ओनली दोज हु आर गोइंग टू सबमिट अन टू माई लोटस फीट हंड्रेड परसेंट दे कैन गो है अदरवाइज नॉट इम्पॉसिबल 
though we know it is one kind of marriage who not knowing everybody hearing hari katha almost everybody can see everybody can speak that is this is one kind of marriage maharaj marriage you know marishika like i already told long time before that in desert in search of water one animal or any man running and running there is water source i am going to dry without water but running and running but finally going to discover the water source is far away but actually it is not water it is marriage there is one kind of marriage nothing so this way in the desert some animal going to die this way animal going to die if the animal could stand in one place still it was okay but running towards marriage is all dangerous for that the animal could not understand that is not at all water is marriage bhakti mr chakur writing kirtan but we cannot realize bhakti mr chakur writing kirtan sukhero lagiya e ghar madhinu anole puriya galo i wanted to enter into family life very nice with children with wife very i can enjoy but my all my home i mean family life now burnt off already i have seen in my life so many cases one master mathematics master he met me in vrindavan met me in vrindavan long ago maybe 30 years back he was very intimate with me he is not from uh, he is from goriamat he is from goriamat he used to speak all about his mind some day he is telling my maharaj that time i was not maharaj anyway now also not maharaj anyway he is speaking the actually my wife going to hit me my wife going to beat me with chapal why well i am doing hari bhajan i am doing hari bhajan that's why my do my daughter also my daughter also they hit me because i am doing hari bhajan i allow them to do whatever they like whatever money you need but still they like to get my cooperation in this kind of enjoyment going to hotel this enjoyment this but i am, i cannot do because i am trying to do bhajan that's why they beat me speak all rubbish but some day my wife develop cancer cancer in such a place which can never be cured then the wife in hospital while well, i am going to my school in course of my you know my travel i am going there hospital while returning i am going to meet with my wife while i am returning also giving whatever he she need whatever i am doing medical treatment finally before death finally before leaving her body with folded hand she is telling whatever you have done it is okay whatever i have done all wrong but it was too late this way everybody busy with material enjoyment it's a must i cannot speak any i cannot speak any bad to anybody it's quite natural because the matter is so attractive but it is like marriage like one chariot going up in the sky if this if this reflection is there in water reflection is water if i like to climb that chariot can i do that chariot is there going pushparat flower chariot pushparat you can find about pushparat in ramayan mahabharat everywhere 
Pushparat means? Pushparat means decorated with flower and the chariot flying. Ramchandra, after killing Ravan, delivering, then after that Pushparat, big. In Pushparat, Ram, Lakshan, Sita, all sitting, Hanumanji, so flying. At present, it is one kind of dream, but that time it was possible. This way, all one kind of marriage, but still we cannot avoid enjoyment. We cannot avoid it, it's impossible for us. All by the help of our material sense organ, material mind, all we are trying to do enjoyment, maybe not directly, but indirectly. Maybe direct enjoyment we are not doing, but indirectly we are doing enjoyment. That's why Popa speaking, don't try to express any enjoying mood. If you are going to express enjoying mood, then it is bondage for you. You can never get free. That's why Gaur Kishal Bhavaji Maharaj, Vangshidas Bhavaji Maharaj, they never wanted to take any seva from anybody. Somehow they used to manage their life. Somehow they used to manage their life. Never they used to. This way they used to lead their life. Even somebody want to serve? No, 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 no. You go, go. You go, go. It's maya, maya. Maya coming in the form of service. Maya coming in the form of service. But you cannot understand. One day, one young lady standing in Gorkisar Babaji Maharaj cannot see. Cannot see when I can see everything, but according to her estimation. That Mataji is speaking. Maharaj, Maharaj, Babaji Maharaj, there is snack, 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 snack going. Baba hearing that Mataji is speaking, cannot see properly. Where is snack? Where is snack? Where? Where? I mean, just uh, from your hand, you know, hand range is going away. But I like, I like the snack bite me. I like the snack bite me because I couldn't do Hari Bhajan. What I can do with this useless body? I couldn't do Hari Bhajan. I want the snack bite me. I like to die. This kind of mentality is only there with Paramahansa devotees. Only is up with Paramahansa devotees they can express this kind of. Because they are really feeling pain. We are not feeling pain. We have no headache whether Bhagavan come and not come, Bhagavan taking something from me or not. There's no headache. Popad used to say, if you are going to fast, and going your item to Bhagavan, you are fasting, you are offering to some Bhagavan and somebody guest coming, you are fine, you are fasting, like my Guru Mahadran. Just cooking and offering to Bhagavan, after that, prasadam out, he is supposed to take prasadam, in the meantime, some devotee come. Devotee come. With great respect, sit here. You can take, Maharaj, you don't know that I am coming. So, no, actually I took prasadam early, you know, nine o'clock. There is so much prasadam, so I cannot take. I was supposed to fast, so you can take. Many times it happens so, not one time. Many times it happens so that somebody coming, Guru Padma gives this prasad to him, he is fasting. Even one dog, in Kalna, one dog used to say outside temple. One day Guru Mahārāj gone to some place. Every day Guru Mahārāj Guru used to give Uchishta Prasadam to the dog. But that day, when Guru Mahārāj gone, that, you know, Sevak was there, Guru Mahārāj asking, give Prasadam to that dog? I forget. He is fasting. Because they are not watching, it is dog, it is man, it is woman, not that. They are always watching, it is one jivatma, helpless jivatma. How to deliver that jivatma? Like the case of Sivananda Sen, I told. 
with Sivananda, particularly that year, particularly that year, Sivananda Sen was going to meet with Mahaprabhu in Nilachal Chetra, but one dog is following. Though we know, many times I told before, maybe two years back, I can remember, that you cannot, you know, take care of a dog. You cannot take care of a dog, bonded soul, in a home, especially. Pet dog you cannot take, because all contaminated. But Sivananda Sen could see that dog is not ordinary dog. He was sadhu. Due to some aparad, he is taking this form to deliver that Jivatma because he is almost, you know, okay. He was the dog outside. Sivananda Sun every day used to give prasadam to the dog. Finally, it was proved that it was not ordinary dog. One day, Sivananda from Sivananda Sun went for begging because devotees are there, Nityananda also there, everybody. After coming back, going to take prasadam and asking, you give prasadam to the dog? No. You don't give prasadam. He is also fasting. After the searching the dog all around, all around, the dog was not found. Dog was not found. Finally, when Sivananda Sen and his group went going to reach you know, Purushottam Khetra, and it was the rules, when, it was the rules, general rules, when they used to reach Purushottam Khetra, they never go to Jagannath temple. First of all, they'd go to meet with Jagannath and Mahaprabhu. It was the general rule, all devotees. They are paying Dandava to the wheel and first and go to their Jagannath who is standing there, Sachinandan. Jai Jai Jagannath Sachi Ranandan. Just to feed there. First, after that, they can go. Sachinandan. When they are reaching very with great anxiety, how to meet, when to meet, this is one kind of sweet anxiety. You can confuse. I am not speaking about material anxiety. Material anxiety can put you in danger. Even material anxiety can throw you in hell. But this is not material anxiety. When you are expressing anxiety to do seva of Bhagavan. When Bhagavan can accept me, this kind of anxiety is very much positive. Like the case of Dhuva Maharaj. Somebody putting question how it was possible for Dhuva Maharaj to get to get darshan of Bhagavan. Whereas some Annavilas was there. Yes or not? He wanted to get the position on the lap of father. Sana Vilasing Stapajistitam. Sano Vilasing Tapasitam. So he wanted to. But our committed commentator writing the one very positive thing that there was extreme anxiety to meet with Bhagavan. This kind of extreme anxiety to meet with Bhagavan can pull Bhagavan. This is one kind of factor of bhakti. It is bhakti. So maybe previously he had some anavilas, but in course of his doing bhajan, maybe previously when he started Bhagavan, surely there was, there was some anavilas. But when he started bhajan by the mercy of Guru Naraji Maharaj, it's not a matter of joke. Naraji Maharaj blessing. So by the blessings of Naraji Maharaj, by the Karuna, Kripa Naraji Maharaj, gradually in course of, in course of his bhajan, he is going to cut Ananatha. Adho Guru Padasya Tasmat Krishna, Krishna Dikshadi Shikshana Mahana. There is no Adho Shadhyat, Adho Sadhu Sangho, Adho Bhajana Kriya, Adho Anatha. I already told. So, so by that time, he was supposed to meet with Bhagavan, there was no anartha. It's all gone. And there was a very vital thing, positive thing, that is called the tremendous anxiety. 
excitement to meet with Bhagavan. That was the most positive factor. That was the most positive factor for Dhruva Maharaj to pull Bhagavan in front of him. Sāna vilāsin sapati sitam tvam praptavān kāchan vichinyo nopi dibbaratnam this is written. Kāchan vichinyo nopi tvam praptavān dibbaratnam you. This way it is written. So, this is the, you know, factor. So, when all Gauriya devotees from here, I mean all devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to go to Nilachal Khetra, they are great anxiety how and when we can meet with Mahaprabhu. When they are going to reach that spot, they discovered that the very dead dog, which was missing. That dog is there in front of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu giving a uh, uh, coconut to that dog and dog taking and speaking Hare Krishna. Prabhu speak Hare Krishna. What Siddhanta you learn from this? What Siddhanta you learn? What Siddhanta you learn? Mahaprabhu, it is the mood of Siman Mahaprabhu. That even a dog, even, even one dog going to keep one relationship with my devotee. Many times Mahaprabhu told, Shattaraj Khan, Shattaraj Khan, Kulingam, Shattaraj Khan. Mahaprabhu speaking, Shattaraj Khan, everything they are speaking, Gunaraj Khan, Shattaraj Khan, they are from Kulingam in Bardwan district. Mahapo speaking, what to speak about all you are doing bhajan? Even one dog from your village is dear to me. Now you understand who, why you are coming to do bhajan. Why? What reason? That is the reason. Mahapo speaking, what to speak about you all devotee? Even one dog from your village is very dear to me. Mahapo not speaking any false philosophy. Mahaprabhu wanted to prove this. Because Sabananda wanted to take care and you know, give prasad on this head, to deliver that dog, so it was the responsibility of Mahaprabhu. Sivananda Sen wanted to deliver some, that dog. Now the responsibility lying with Mahaprabhu, how to deliver? This is Gauranga Bhajan. Your heart can crack down your heart can melt. But my heart is not melting because my heart is like thunderbolt. Bajra. This is called Gauranga Bhajan. Gauranga Mahapu always ready to deliver any fallen soul for anywhere. Not that from America I cannot deliver. Not Australia, Russia, Australia, not that. Mahapu always waiting to deliver all. But we are not ready. We are not going to follow Guru Path Padma Vaishnava in total. That is the main thing. That is the main thing. So, Mahaprabhu always wanted to give advice. Don't be busy with material enjoyment. So, I, the sloka I started with, you can remember. Amit Dhapurne Krimikita Sankule this body is a sack of stool and urine and blood. This body is a sack, is a sack of blood, urine and stool. Nothing else. But we are concentrating on this body. We, we, are, we are blind. Yesterday I, was speak, yesterday I was speaking about the third eyes. I speaking about the third eye is third eye is not there. We are blind. So we are concentrating on this material body. That's why it's a big problem. So his body is a sack of blood, urine and place. Very bad smell. Even if today somebody die, 
then within tomorrow, 12 hours, 18 hours, a bad, bad smell can come. You have to throw out. So then why we are going to love each other? What can be the reason? Why mother going to love children? Uh, any children, any boy or girl going to love mother, father? Somebody have some lady love, going to love. Why? Because it is because the Atma is there. This is because the Atma is there. Otherwise not. That's why in Upanishad I can discuss this point afternoon time. I can speak some story, I mean, from Bhagavatam. Some incident. So there you find in Upanishad, if there is one sloka, Atma ba ari drashtabya satabya nididha shitabya. Why we are going to live, love each other? This is because Atma is there. Object of love is Atma. But we are in confusion. We can see this gross body, we have to love it. This is matter, this is nothing. This is very matter. Actually, love is only possible because Atma is there. If Atma is not there, then mother is going to throw the boy into crematory and ground. Mother is going to throw. Just yesterday, she used to kiss that but not today, not kissing. Why? But they have misconception. They have misconception, actually, Everything running in this whole world, all activities, whatever going on, whatever going on, all in relation to in relation to Atma, all activities, earning money, making building, this and this, there are so many huge, countless activities going, all in relation to this Atma. If Atma is there, no there, who can feel interest? Nobody can feel. So, this body, our Shastra speaking, this body is a sack of blood, blood, urine, stool, this, that. This is not an object of love. That's why Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us, try to love that Atma. Amitta Purune Kremikita Sankule Sabhava Durgandi Bhinindi Tantare And those were those who are actual Pandit, in, in this sloka it is written, those who are real Pandit, they never try to enjoy this material body. Those who are foolish, idiot, they can only enjoy this material body. Only foolish, those who are actual Pandit, they never get busy to enjoy the material body. It is matter. Body can do. So, Pandit, who is Pandit? Now question can come. I know Sanskrit, I know Sastra, I am Pandit, no, no. Pandit means, we can come to this point here. The last advice of Bhagavan Sri Krishna to Uddhav. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav, Pandito Bandhamakshavit. Who is ever, who is well ever, who is well ever about the fact this my action can be the reason of bondage. This, this my action can be a reason of my mukti. So, Pandito Bandhamakshavit. All our enjoying mood is going to put us in bondage. But still we cannot avoid. We cannot avoid. It's one kind of chronic disease. It's one kind of chronic disease. Whole day and night we have to cry in the name of Krishna. Someday he can express mercy to us. Mame vaje prapadante maya metam tarantite. Due to maya. So, I was discussing yesterday how Udhavji Maharaj going to ask question and that 
Abhadhut Sanyasi is going to give answer. Going to get answer, you see. So yesterday I was speaking that Abhadhut speaking, I make 24 gurus and from Shiksha Guru I can make so many. Shiksha Guru, so many you can, so it's all Shiksha Guru. So, yesterday uh, we learned that 24 Guru may, I mean, Avadhu Sanyas is speaking, I have 24 Gurus and I learned so many things from them, one by one. Yato Anu Shikshami Yathava Nuhusatmaja Tat Tatha Purusha Bhagro Nibhudo Kathayamite. That I am going to speak. So yesterday we learned that we learned that from this earth, Prithivima, Mother Earth, Mother Earth, what we can learn? From Mother Earth, on which we are made, making building the civilization there, everything. What we can learn about that? Speaking, Bhutoi Rakram Mana Yopi Dhiro Daibo Vasanugai Tat Bidyana No Chalit Margad Anno Siksham Chitir Bratat Kitir Bratam Bratatna Kitir Bratam. So, Bhutoir Akram Mano Upi Bhutoir Bhutoir Akram Mano Upi Dhiro Daibo Vasanuga Tat Vidyan No Chalit Margad Anno Siksham Khitir Bratam Our Pithibhima, there is so many torture people doing, so many torture. Countless. Somebody, scientists, they are making nuclear tests on the ground. They are throwing missile, you know, and throwing atom bombs. So many things are there. Devastated condition. You see the Russia, Ukraine fighting going on, all country involved. Some going to somebody, some going to help somebody. This way, all fighting. And in between, thousands of people are trying. So, our Prithivima is going to feel very sorry, very pain, but still cannot do anything. Cannot do anything. You can think, I know you can think, Maharaj, maybe it is one kind of false philosophy, not that. I can give evidence. Maybe you can think, yeah, maybe it is one kind of false philosophy. How possible, Maharaj? Yes, I can give evidence, hundred percent. What you call Prithivi Ma, this Prithivi Ma, Mother Prithivi, I can take you to Kamakha and show you. Kamakha Ma. Kamakha Ma feeling pain. Kamakha Ma feeling pain. Nobody knows. Practically I have seen, practically I have seen. That at the time of period, Prithibhima suffering and blood coming. And that time, it is a restriction in a sastra. Nobody can put even one alpin in the earth. One, even one alpin. is totally restricted for five, seven days. Totally. Nobody can dig earth. We cannot, we, 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 we all... Follow this point. You don't know. You have no idea. You don't know. You first the first time you're hearing. But I can show you Amabachi in in Hari Bhakti Vilas also written. In Amabachi, we cannot give pain to mother. We cannot dig earth. We cannot put even one alpin. Nothing. It's prohib strictly prohibited. So, Pithivi Ma. She has some sarup. If you don't believe, I can go to Bhagavatam and give you evidence. When all demigods, 
together with Brahma, Brahma together with all, you know, demigods, Sankar, they are going to reach the bank of Kira Ocean. Kira Ocean, you know. I am going to pray, Prabhu, it's a big problem. You please, you know, solve, try to solve this problem. Otherwise, we cannot live here. We cannot live. And Prithivima crying, shedding tears in the form of Gomata. That's why in Veda, that's why in Veda, I already write in this topics from Veda into Gomata book. Elevation of consciousness there. So Prithivi Mata shedding tears in the form of Gomata, in the form of Gomata. So Brahma also taking Gomata. You also come. We can pray to Bhagavan. Maybe Bhagavan can pay attention to our request. Who can say? Because you are suffering. Because all demons and you know, Rakshas, they are doing so much rubbish activity. So you are crying. So when all demons, they are doing all rubbish activities, sinful activities, then Prithivima is shedding tears. Prithivima is shedding tears. So in Bhagavatam you can find Brahma together with all demigods and, you know, Prithivima going to reach the bank of Kira Ocean, going to request. It is written in Bhagavatam there. So, Prithivima and not, not, not only that, but also we have documents in Bhagavadji Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Bhagavad Chaitanya Charitamrita. After arranging Samadhi, after the completion of Samadhi, Mahaprabhu was doing. And before that, I mean, when Mahaprabhu taking that body of Haridas Thakur, transcendental body, and going at the bank of sea, and going to take water from the sea, and washing the body of Haridas Thakur, washing the lotus feet of Haridas, and giving water from ocean. And Mahaprabhu, you can go and see in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Mahaprabhu is speaking to the ocean. Mahaprabhu is speaking to the ocean. Oh, ocean, today you are going to be purified by the water was of the body of Haridas Thakur. So lucky you are today. So lucky you are going to take the water was of Haridas, my Haridas. So, Samudra, today you are the topmost pilgrimage. Mahaprabhu speaking. All Tirtha is there in you. Because you are getting the scope to get the water was of Haridas Thakur. And Mahaprabhu speaking, Haridas Thakur was one transcendental jewel. Haridas Thakur was the transcendental jewel of this earth. Haridas Thakur was the transcendental jewel of this earth. Now Haridas gone means Prithivi Ma crying. This kind of sadhu, you have no idea. When this kind of big, big sadhu, exalted sadhu, one by one going away from this earth, you have no estimation that how much tears our Prithivim are shedding for. You don't know. So this way, we have no idea that Prithivim are going to get trained. So here, Still, we are doing so much of, you know, doing operation, torture, we are doing all day and night to this Prithivima. But still you see, our Prithivima not going to get, you know, complain, not going to forbid, not going to chase us, fight with us. Everything she is going to be here. Everything she is going to be here. Everything she is going to be here. She is not going to complain. So, so our Abhudhut Sanyasi is very perfect Siddhanta. He is speaking, Bhutai Rakram Man Yopi, Bhutai Rakram Man Yopi, Dhiro Duyvavasanu Gai, Tad Vidyanu Na Chalit Margat. 
Panna Seksham Khetir Vratam. It is a, as if, it is as if our Prithivi Ma, Mother, Mother Prithivi, she has taken a vow not to speak anything to anybody. Whatever you do. Follow. We know with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, two Sakti came specially. Eh? Two Sakti, Vishnu Piyā and Lakshmi Piyā. And another Sakti, Bhū Shakti, Vishnu Piyā Devi, this. Sri Shakti, Sri Shakti, Bhū Shakti, Sri Shakti, Sri Shakti, Lakshmi Piyā Devi, Bhū Shakti, Vishnu Piyā Devi, and Nila Shakti, ba Lila Shakti, in the form of Lila. Lila Shakti. Three came to, to serve Mahaprabhu exclusive way. Three Shakti. Now is a Bhagavan and countless Shakti, but three men Shakti came to serve the Lila of Gauranga Mahaprabhu to give the nourishment of Gauranga Lila. Without Vishnu Priyal, total Lila of Gauranga Mahaprabhu is incomplete. We cannot give. Total nourishment of Gauranga Lila, eh? total nourishment of Gauranga Lila was done by Vishnu Piyadevi. So, this way, even all Bhuta, I mean those who are living on this earth, they can do give torture to Prathivi Maha, but still she is not going to speak anything to anybody. So, this I this I learn. Kama. What do you learn? Kama. Excuse. What do you learn? Excuse. Pitsibi. Pitsibi ma can excuse. This, you know, Kama Shiksha. So, how to excuse Vaishnavas at any condition, at any environment, any situation, a pure Vaishnava always ready to excuse. It is their nature. Like when Haridas Thakur was beaten at 22 different markets of Kalna, Bardwan district, he wanted to seek pardon. Prabhu, you excuse them, they don't know. Prabhu, you excuse them. Prabhu, Prabhu you excuse them, actually, don't know what they are. So at the time of death, when they are going to kill me, up to the last moment, a Vaishnava can pray for the mangal of this bonded soul. This I learned from art. So, after that, Sashat Parartho Sarveha Parartho Kanta Sambhavaha Shaduhu Shikshetha Bhuk Bhritto Naga Shishyaha Paratmatam. Then actually from hill, big big hill, no? big big hill like Himalayan hill, these are so many things are there. And trees and keepers, from them what we are learning, what we are learning. From them it is, you see, Shashyad parartho sarveho parartho ikanta sambhavah shaduhu shikshet bhubhritto nago shishyoh paratmatam. What we are learning? Well, a shadu bhakti, those who want to become sadhu, those real sadhu, shadu bhakti, continuously a pure sadhu try to Try to deliver bonded soul. Do some good for others. Always a pure sadhu, always searching the opportunity to serve others. So how to serve that jivatma? So you see, sadhu bhakti continuously busy with this thing. Somebody asking to Prabhupada, Prabhupada. 
somebody asking to somebody asking to Prabhupada, Prabhupada, who is sadhu? Oh, who is sadhu? How we can realize? One word we like to hear. One word, Prabhupada speaking. He, he, who is always he, who is always ready to do something for, for Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan, Dham, Nam, always. And they can also see all Jivatma in relation to, in relation to Bhagavan. That's why if some Jivatma in trouble, because about Vaishnava we see Paradukha Dukhi, you know, Paradukha Dukhi. They cannot suffer, they cannot, you know, bear, they cannot bear the sufferings of others. They cannot bear the sufferings of others. So they always try to jump into a seva. They have no self-interest. They have no self-interest, but still they have because of nature. That's why Prabhupada, whole day and night, used to, you know, do some seva, whole day. Writing, speaking, so, so that maybe who can say, who can say, maybe some Jivatma can hear my speech, can, you know, read my writings, and he can get delivered, who can say? So always and every time. So exhibition, uh, exhibition, everything all the time. Different kind of patrika, different kind of magazine, Hindi, Bangla, Ingraji, Uriya, Urdu, Tamil, all different languages. Excellent. Miracle. How possible? So, a saying, a sadhu, a pure sadhu, always trying to render something for Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan, Nam, Dham, or for this. This world is also coming from Bhagavan. So, if they, in relation to, in relation to Bhagavan, the world seva, if we do without cutting the relation with Bhagavan, then it becomes a material seva. Like the case of Ranti Dev, I told you. No? Ranti Dev going to serve some externally, some people, material. But still, it is not material because he is thinking always, I am not serving any material man. I am serving Paramatma sitting inside the heart of that man, that beast, that man. Just now I told, na, Atma ba are satabhya. Evening time I can give one example. Very nice. So, Rantidev ji, his darshan was little bit different. His, his darshan was very, very special because always and every time Sham Jiva going to seek help from him, he is going to do, okay, 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 take, 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 take. But he is going to concentrate his mind unto the lotus feet of Paramatma. I am not serving any beast and bird. I am serving Paramatma. In the Paramatma coming in the form of this man. Paramatma coming in the form of this, you know. So his seva was not material. But some X mission, Y mission, they are going to open different kind of hospital, everything. Open na? hospital, these, that. But all their seva is material. Because they don't have. They don't have any idea about this. That's why this all their seva, material seva. They can get result, not that they can, they can get material result. Material seva, material result. A prakita seva, a prakita result. I am doing a prakita seva. I am, I am trying to do a prakita seva. Bhagavan surely cannot give me return on material benefit. I cannot expect. So this way, a sadhu is always ready to deliver. I, many times I told one sloki again. Janasya Krishna Vimukha Shadeva Adharma Sila Satudukitasya Onugruhayeha Charanti Nunam Bhutani Bhabhyani Janadas. It is the nature of pure devotee. They have no self -reliance. Why they are speaking so much, writing so much, why they are traveling here? Are they gone mad? No. They want to deliver others. They are feeling pain for all bondage soul. Prabhu, like Pallad Mahaj already told us. 
Prabhu, if you can deliver those wounded souls. They are Asura Balak. They are Asura, sons of Asuras. Without you, they have no support. They please deliver them. This way. So, we are going to learn something from hill, big, big mountain. Mountain, sometime going to give us the water flow, you know, fountain, pure water drinking. Mountain going to grow some kandamul, kandamul, some special in, in ten candle you can say. Kandalo kandamulai, in written ten candle. Bhagavan Sikhi, I myself have taken one sadhu coming from Himalaya, he bring one kandamul, I mean root. He is going to cut very and take a very sweet kandamul, very nice, very sweet, very tasty, very healthy, but very costly. When I went to Siliguri for Harikatha three times, I said, now at present I am not going, five, seven years back maybe. That's why some devotee used to collect some root from Himalayan hill, very costly, he used to bring from me. Very sweet, I used to tell him, what is this, I never, I never saw. But a Maharaj is very, very costly, very nice. You can become healthy. Really. <laughs> I took it. Ah, this way. So this way, Kandamul, so going to give shelter in the form of cave. If some sadhu is going to take shelter in a cave and is going to give some shelter in the form of fountain, some water can come. It is written in Bhagavatam. Krishna, Balaram, and all Sakhas, they used to enjoy transcendental enjoyment in Giraj Maharaj. It is written. That's why the name of that's why the name of Giriraj Maharaj Haridas Barju. Haridas Barju. Why? Topmost servant of Bhagavan. Though we know his Bhagavan, but still in the form. Because done countless seva, countless seva, Giraj Maharaj. Because all the time Krishna with cows running here and there, the bank of Govardhan sometimes climbing, with Simati Radharani entering into cave, Radharani going to play instrument, going to teach Krishna, this way you have to sing and play, this way, all the time, enjoying. So all the time we see there is you know, this way they used to do. So, Himalaya, you, you take the case of Himalaya. You can take the case of Himalaya, what not doing? Without Himalaya, we could not live. We could not live. Himalaya, doing so much seva, continuously, without any benefit. Himalaya doing countless, you know, seva, Himalaya doing. But who is going to think about Himalaya? Who is going to think about it? Also, you have to learn something from Himalaya, the patience. You have to grow patience like Himalaya. But Vaishnavas, they are going to grow patience more than Himalaya. Follow this way. We are learning something from Sadhu Bhakti, one pure sadhu always try to render some service, some seva for all, whole world. Their life, a life of a sadhu is for all. You know, follow. And from tree, those trees, they are going to give fruits and flower. In return, in return, never expect anything. Expect anything? Huh? One tray going to say, you are taking so many fruits, not giving anything, you pay money. Not speaking. <laughs> A tree always giving, not taking anything. A river going to give you water, not taking, a, not drinking any water. River she is not going to drink any water. Oh, the water flowing. She is 
while Nadi, she is going to give water, but not drinking any water from her own source. Not taking. That's why you should remember that trees are not going to take anything in return. Cloud not going to expect anything from the farmer that you are growing paddy, wheat and barley. I give rain, so I have some share. I have some share you have to give to me. Not speaking. Jala nita sam na pibanti na dya phala nita sam na khadanti viksha. It is written, Jala nita sam na pibanti na dya phala nita dvat na khadanti viksha. Na danti shashani kada megha kada chit. Parupukara yasatam vibhuti. Those sadhu, they have some quality, all not by himself. He is going to use, utilize for others. They can get benefit. That's why one life of a sadhu is for you all. They have no personal desire. So, it is written, I can discuss, but today time cannot come. Anyway, shashat. It is written, Shashad Parartha Sarveha, Shashad Parartha Sarveha, Parartha Ekanta Sambhava, Shadu Shikshet Bhuvritto Nago Shishaha Paratmatam. How to serve, how to, how to serve others? How to live? Selfishness, we can learn from hill and mountain and trees, we are going to learn. How to live selfishness, how to serve others. Yeah. This way, we are, we are you know, sasa sadhu, this way we are serving, we are, we are learning. And Bhagavan Sri Krishna also, Bhagavan Sri Krishna also in course of his playing in Vrindavan. Bhagavan Sri Krishna playing in Vrindavan here and then in very nice grass. They are playing different. Someday Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to, speaking to all friends. Sidam, Sudam, Basudam are speaking. Oh friends, we must learn something from the trees because these trees, they are doing everything for us, not speaking anything to us. In return, they are not going to expect anything. That's why Mahaprabhu wanted to give this, this same example. Trinadu Vishwani Chino Taro Vishwani Amanina Manandino Pitanyo Kitanyo Taro Rupi, Taro means Briksha. Taro Vishwani Bhagavan Sikh is in course of his playing, speaking to Speaking to friends, so friend, you see how they are, how they are serving to everybody, how they are serving exclusively. In return, they are not going to expect anything. How exclusively? Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to, to friends all. We must learn. They are not going to return. In return, they are not. That's why Mahaprabhu wanted to give this example, third slope. Because a tree always ready to give us fruits and flowers, shadow. Even you like to cut the tree, can get wood, wood, I mean dry wood, everything. But in return, it is written Bhakti Thakur. It is written by Bhakti Thakur, like the trees for long time fasting, not getting even water, not asking you give me water. For a long time I am not drinking water, not speaking. This way speaking. That's why in Bengali you can you can see the English version in three three nada visolosha, you know. They are Bhakti Matyaku writing Brikho Jano Katilo Kishuna Boloi Brikho Jano Katilo Kishuna Boloi Shukaya Moile Kare Panina Mangwai Jeja Mangwe Tari Dai Apondhan 
ঘর্ম বৃষ্টি সহে আনের করয়ে রক্ষণ ও স্কর্চি সানলাইট এভরিথিং বৃক্ষ যেন কাটিল ওয়েন আই এম গোয়িং টু কাট এ ট্রি উইথ কাটার মস্ট বৃক্ষ ফর লং টাইম নট গেটিং সাফিসিয়েন্ট ওয়াটার ড্রট ড্রট ইউ নো ড্রট দে নো নো ওয়াটার নট স্পিকিং গিভ ইস আ ওয়াটার and who whoever going to ask anything whoever going to ask whatever thing we to take take i'm not asking in return so bhagwan sikh is not speaking chaitanya mahapurush so this way our abadhut sanyasi our abadhut sanyasi going to speak that we must i am learning all this thing really so not a matter of joke those who are really up to that stage they can learn everything by watching and those who are idiot foolish number one like ass hearing so many thing cannot get any realization amit the purne ke kit sankule sabhav durgand binindi tantare kale vare mutte purish bhavite ramanti mula biramanti panditah বাঞ্চা কল্পতরবশ্য কে পাঁচ ইন্দু বেভাচ পতিতানং পাবন ভবৈষ্ণভ্যো নমো